Good day everyone, Adam here from Benito. Just gonna give you a quick look at this stunning Benito 620cc. This is actually Rob Taylor's, from Rob Taylor's Hot Water. This is his new boat, so if you're interested in seeing some fish in action in a 620, make sure to check out Rob Taylor's um, up in Mackay. He's gonna be doing some awesome fishing videos at the reef, so absolutely perfect boat for it. Congratulations, Rob. Can't wait to see the fish in the footage and even um, go fishing with you soon sometime. Up the front, nice Benito bow roller, standard on every single one of our boats. Nice black gunnel rubber, looks tough. Rolling on a three ton Aussie alloy trailer, can't rate these highly enough. Drive on and off absolutely beautifully. Tow really, really well, super well balanced. Electric brakes, so this is a three ton rated trailer, same as what we get on the 660s. Down the back, got the transom steps so we'll come around the other side you'll see there's a ladder on these makes getting in and out of the boat nice and easy and then in the back here you'll notice it's all non-skidded as well helps getting in and out of the boat and uh fuel filling point down in the in the motor well here brand new 200 Suzuki on the back can't wait to see the fuel economy figures went well on its first test run Lenko trim tabs all, all installed through the transom steps, stainless steel blades, so these are all nice and neat, tucked away, help level up the boat nice and easily. Motor well drains down here, breathers, flame proof, same ones we use on survey boats, and the deck wash outlet into the uh, motor well, keeps the deck wash hose out of the way, we've moved that now. Along with the new deck wash system, I'll show you a bit of that inside. Nice neat rigging in the back here in the motor well. Again, just great places to get in and out of the boat, the beach, or even when you're spearfishing, makes it nice and easy. Recess cleats, same as all the other boats that we do. These pop up and down, your lines can't get caught on them. Six rod holders fitted on this one. It'll jump up on its side. Um, Rob Taylor's, um, we supplied him a full electronics package. 16-inch um, Simrad going in, as well as through-hull transducers. At the back, we've got the new bait board. Nice storage compartment inside for your bait, knives, tackle, or miscellaneous sinkers, and hooks going can go in there. You can look at the space in the back, it's huge. Great place to sit and have a couple of drinks. Um, bait tank with the window. Down the back, you'll see we've got the batteries and uh, plenty of storage space in here, so you can fit multiple batteries on each side, or you can use them as storage, so great place to put your tackle for the da or your tackle gear, and um, or even safety gear, it's all hidden away. Same on the other side. Underneath, you'll see we got nice deep bilge there, plenty of room for your through holes. Down under here, you'll notice the deck wash pumps all hidden up under the floor. It's a new bay tank pl uh, deck wash plumbing system, so, no more hose clamps, side pocket, small bits and pieces. This is our seat box, if you haven't already seen it on the first 620 center console. It's an absolute ripper. Unlimited options, it's a complete blank canvas for how you want to set it up. Um, at the moment we've set it up with storage at the back, so open up the back and you've got a ton of dry storage, as you'll see here. Close that up, you could fit tackle storage trays, drawer systems, anything you want. You could have the back cut out so you can fit an esky in here. The options are limitless. This drains down onto the floor. If you do get a lot of water in there, which you shouldn't, it's all sealed. There's no holes other than that one there at the back. Side pockets fully glassed on. You can stand on these things as I've done before in the past. They don't even make a creak, they're rock solid. Coming up into the console, we've cut the uh, dash out for a single 16 for Rob. Cup holders, this is binnacle controls here. We've got the BP switch, keys, Suzuki gauge, and trim tabs here. Hydraulic steering. What a ripping view. Large cast platform down there. This one's been extended so two people could sleep on it. So it's over 1.6 meters long. You can lay down on that with ease. R relaxing top here, relaxing targo top um, with the rod holders at the back. So there's two, four, five. Rod holders on there, which would be awesome. Great rod storage. Six rod holders in the side of the gunnels. Again, recess cleats. I'll show you 
this massive mackerel box. So if you didn't know, this is a new cast platform. 620s and 660 skirt. Look at the space in that. It's large enough that I can lie in there and close to lid. All speckled, inch loaded. Look how thick it is. For us, should be a great place to store your fish for the day when you're out fishing. Drains, so these all drain through and around. Um, nice and deep, nice big gutters. Again, in the forward storage compartment. All spring load, spring hatched, so you don't need to hold onto it. Nice and deep, big gutters. Stainless steel everywhere. And then up in the front, we've got the electric motor mount, and we've got the anchor well, which is massive, and this one's been reinforced as well for a drum winch. We've got space, so you can cast, send two people up here, sports fishing at the reef with ease. It's absolutely awesome. Non-skid floor, doing every Benito. It's signature touch of the Benitos, nice and grippy under your feet. If you're interested in one of these, make sure to let us know. Can't wait to see Rob Taylor out at the reef. Yeah, if you're interested in a Benito, we do five meters, 5.6, 6.2 now, which you're seeing here. Uh, Express model's coming very soon, so you'll have a great storage and sleeping space up the front, and um, it's going to be flat across the bow, so you'll be able to stand up there and cast. So have most of the benefits of a center console as well as the benefits of a having a cabin same awesome hull as well yeah, we, and we also do 6.6 .6 in both center console and half cabin so if you're interested make sure to give me a call 0426 260 or check out any of our other social media and again make sure to check out rob taylor's hot water on youtube and uh, facebook and instagram he's going to be doing some great bonito fishing trips which we can't wait to see and be involved in in the future thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the water